The Notes app in Soundflow 5.8 is a powerful toolkit for managing revisions, thoughts, and comments for creative projects. It helps reduce back and forth communication by allowing notes to be shared across teams and worked on collaboratively. The Notes app is free for all Soundflow Cloud Pro subscribers. To install Notes, head to the store and navigate to the Buy Soundflow section. Here you will find the Notes app and other apps Soundflow creates. Click the Install button and once installed, click the Go to Package button to navigate to the Notes package. The Notes package consists of the Notes surface and the Notes client surface along with a handful of customizable commands to enhance your workflow with Notes. To open the Notes app, click Notes in the Soundflow editor and click Open App. If preferred, you can add a keyboard trigger for opening the Notes app or add an Open Notes app button to a deck for your Stream Deck or mobile device. When opening Notes for the first time, head to the Projects tab. Notes can store and manage multiple projects all synced to the cloud. Click the New button to create a new project and give it a name. Double click on the project from the project list to load it. To add your first notes, click on the Add tab and use the corresponding buttons to make timestamp notes based on your current selection in Pro Tools. Notes will capture the start time, length, category, author, assignee, and description for each note added in this way. Notes projects can be shared with other users from the Users tab. Users can be invited with the Invite button and can be searched using username handles from the Soundflow forum. Once other users are added to a project, they can access all of the notes tied to it. They can also be assigned to specific notes using the Edit Assignee button from the Edit tab. On the right side of the Notes app, there is a field for comments and history related to specific notes. When changes are made to a note, they will be logged in this feed. Even more powerful, users can add comments to specific notes, allowing for real-time conversation between team members working on the same project. Notes can be deleted individually using the Delete button or in bulk using the Delete All button. Notes provides many options for adding notes, including importing from Pro Tools memory locations, importing from Media Composer markers, importing from providers like Samply and Frame.io, and more. As an example, I'll use Transcribe from selected clips in Pro Tools to transcribe a voiceover and import the transcription directly into Notes. The Export tab also provides many options for exporting notes. Notably, I can export all of the notes in my project to Pro Tools memory locations or clip groups. Functions in the Edit tab can be performed on a single note or multiple notes. You can select multiple notes using the Shift or Command modifier keys when clicking on notes in the project. If you hold the Command key and double-click a note, its status will toggle. The status is indicated as Done, allowing you to check off notes like a to-do list. The Filter tab can filter categories of notes in the project. Clicking on the Filter button multiple times will switch between additive and subtractive filters. The filter category buttons with green lines underneath them are the actively shown categories in the project. Finally, the Notes Client app is a companion app intended to be run from a mobile device like an iPad. Preset notes and categories can be saved to this app, allowing multiple users to quickly add notes based on the current Pro Tools timeline from anywhere in the room. Check out our other workflow-specific videos to learn more about the other customizable workflows for the Notes app, including integrations with Samply, Frame.io, and Dropbox, as well as commands related to transcription.